again, it's been a while. But being busy with life has meant another extended break from not only YouTube videos, but also pretty much photography in general. However, the longest day is always a day I like to photograph the sunset. So, meeting up with Alan Lightley, away from the coast for a change, we took a walk up to the very isolated Rune Farmstead in Blawery on what looked to be a lovely, lovely night. Well, welcome back to Blar Weary. It's about three years since I last brought you here. Back in the early days of the, cha uh, of the channel. Uh, and today, as I might have already said on the way up, it is the longest day of the year, June the 21st. And as, as is my usual tradition, I come out and photograph sunset on such, such a momentous day because it starts, you know, winter starts tomorrow. Uh, or the run into winter starts anyway, uh, which is a, Always a little bit depressing. Feels like we've only we're not even reached summer yet, and already the uh, the nights will be pulling in again. So we're here. Uh, Alan's with us, as you will have seen on the way up. Uh, Alan's never been here before, so it'll be interesting to see what he makes of it. And yeah, I'm pretty much going to shoot the ten, you know what I would call the usual views. So I'm going to maybe just go back back down the track a little bit, get a wider shot of of the remains of the steading, uh, utilise the light on the, on, the, on the end of the remaining gables. Uh, so that's pretty much what we're going to do, so hopefully you will enjoy it. Uh, remember if you're not already subscribed, please do, and uh, you know, you might well enjoy this video, so please do leave it a thumbs up to help, help it rise or something, I don't know, it's all beyond me. So anyways, thank you for joining me, let's crack on. Bit of drone footage, I think. She's a killing us already. Uh, <laughs> summer. Who'd have thunk it? Midges on Moorland. Uh, right, even though it's the longest day of the year, we are kind of still worried about the light because, you know, yes, it's the sun's going to be out, out until two minutes to ten, I think it is, tonight. Um, but the sun is, you know, it's still reasonably high at the minute, but there's a cloud on the horizon, unfortunately. So it's a bit of a race, but I mean the plane of the sun setting, it's going to set in behind these these kind of hills on the left. So it is going to cut out some of the pinkish light that we might get, depending on conditions. Uh, so it's, it is already a bit of a battle before we even start. The other thing from this angle, somebody's built a field shelter in the, in the old steading, which is new since the last time I was up. That's a little bit annoying because it is going to disrupt the beauty of of the scene. Uh, but then again, it's still got to be a practical uh, farmland area for the sheep grazing. Uh, so it's, it's a it's a bit of cover cover there for the shepherds because we're in the middle of nowhere. Uh, if they need to do any dosing or whatever, it's slightly disappointing that they've clagged that on the front. Anyway, so it's going to disrupt making an image um, easily but it's still a beautiful setting we've got some lovely trees and a big big main tree there on the left the trees in the background so right on with the shooting because 
well, you know, otherwise, what's the point in the video? I'm finding this a little bit tricky. It's weeks since I made some uh, ICM images and you do fall out of the habit of, of doing them. Uh, you know, going out with Alan quite a, quite a lot in the in, in the last few months I've been doing a lot of norm, like normal traditional phot style photography, landscape photography and it's just it's hard to get back into it because it, you, you get a rhythm uh, to your movement and uh, and the other thing about learning, you know, having to le learn the nuances of the new camera, it is, uh, it's tricky to make it easier with these midges. So it's a bit of a struggle at the minute to get exposure times right, the amount of movement right. The other thing is we've got a bright, brightish subject in the, in the landscape which is lit from this, you know, from over here. Uh, that's causing contrasty kind of issues because the tree's quite dark but it's also lit uh, the stonework is like a very light grey sandy what sand's doing uh, and then and then obviously this side of the of the build of the ruin the buildings of they're in shadow so that's a bit tricky so I might just have to forget about this composition for the moment or try to nail the, the length of exposure a bit better before doing that and then heading around the other side and hopefully utilizing that tree in a creative way uh, and, and and the uh, you know the still standing gable ends just, just have a bit more of a play i've had some decent images here in the past but generally it's it's it, it's a tricky tricky location uh, and a lot of that comes down to the trees in the background so just have to work hard trying to not get too peed off about these midges. Changing change, change the subject completely away from the ruins, uh, that tree just there in the, the way in the way the landscape is. Forget about the, uh, the track going along to it. That's not going to show up at all. Um, we're just playing with playing with the sky, moving the sky around about the tree. Created some nice nice potential images. Um, almost like a, a, an image I made a couple of weeks ago on a live stream where it was. From a foggy from foggy morning, similar thing by you know moving the camera in such a way that it gets rid of it brings in a lot of sky. The sky comes in to the you know into the foreground, uh, kind of isolating the tree. Look, looked promising, which is more promising than the stuff we took back there. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna get a few shots of this tree here and the wall and the ruined walls and stuff uh, just to see how that goes. But the midges get in the eye. Uh, yeah, and I think I'll get the drone back up before I get the light drops too much. The sun's bolting just just behind a cloud at the moment, uh, so it's softening things off. So yeah, a yeah, bit of a kind of a race against time because we've got this hill in the way as well. That's going to drop away, so the light's going to disappear from the from the ruins. But then again, we're going to get some probably hopefully beautiful light on the Cheviots out to the west. So we'll we'll still be winning. We'll still be winning. Just as long as these midges just go extinct. Horrible things. Horrible.
well as you can see from that the uh, the sun has dropped below the uh, that bank of cloud up towards the uh, up on the northwest there um, but there is some lovely uh, orangey kind of a orangey pinky kind of light uh, behind the kind of the bluish uh, cheviot uh, just 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 behind the midges are still biting like hell oh so excuse me scratching and itching and probably making this video very very hard to watch it is very very scratchy so I think we're done with the light for for this evening obviously uh, casting on here I am going to look at a couple of normal compositions uh, towards the back of the the ruins because I shot most of it with the, the light hitting from this side and now that the light's gone it might help uh, we'll see but at the moment I'm, I, I'm, I'm a little disappointed with what we've got so far today it's just things aren't quite working um, I think it's being out of practice so tip number one is to keep practicing don't don't put the camera down for three or four weeks like I have um, to continue to get out there or if you are going to get out there, it's still continue to do with ICM photography. Don't take normal images, uh, which is what I've been doing as well. There's a bit, a nice bit of uh, light catching in the clouds there now, so we may get a few other kind of options. Um, so I'm going to move because these midges are driving me mad, and hopefully they'll not follow me. All right, hopefully they'll leave us alone for ten seconds. Uh, so I'm going to try some, just try different angles and maybe try to utilise some of this, this this cloud, orangey cloud in the background here, mixed together with the the shapes of the of the ruins. You never know, something might come out of it. Fingers crossed. I don't know what time it is. It is 21 minutes past nine. So we've still got another 40 minutes before sunset. Um, but the light, with that cloud, the light has dropped significantly and I can probably see us actually heading maybe not all the way back but a good way back um, before sunset because it's uh, I don't we're not going to get any of that casting light that's worth staying all the way up on the top of the hill for so anyway it's gonna get in amongst that um, those ruins on the other side hopefully utilize some clouds and hopefully get something decent Fingers crossed. I mean, it could be a challenging one, but because of the the, uh, the gable ends of the ruins don't protrude fully into over the over the horizon, they kind of maybe just the tops are showing. So this might be a bit of a struggle, but we're going to have a go. Going to try to utilise those the far distance, the colour in the far distance, and the tree on the right hand side. Hopefully, work with them. Um, a range of movements as usual. And, and just basically see what we get because that's, that's that's how we do it is just have a go experiment and if it works on one shot try, try to repeat it again and again and again but the trick the hard bit is usually finding that movement that works with those elements so yeah right let's crack on before we nip down the road and hopefully catch the last of that little bit of sun we've got some uh, clouds lighting up behind the, uh, the ruins there so I'm just going to grab a few quick ones honest to gov they will be quick grab a few of that hopefully catch some of that colour and then we'll get on we'll be a little bit of a rush but that, that is also one of the main attractions uh, I think about landscape photography of any kind of style is this rush, this run of adrenaline as the conditions are changing or becoming beautiful, or ch you know, uh, and, and you're chasing. It's the chase of that shot, uh, just that increased pace, that more, more fluid, more randomness, uh, rather than the fully planned out shot where you know it's going to be nice or whatever. When it just appear, ap appears and like this. Especially this part of the world, which is so varied at times weather-wise, 
This is really, really the fun part of it all. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. So, I think we're done at the rooms now. Uh, back down the road, or track, uh, to Alan. See what he's shooting. There's still a bit of, still a bit of colour on the horizon. So, you never know. Might get there in time. Then again, might not. Um, but yeah, good to get back up to Bulawiri. Uh, so yeah, just good to be out again after after what feels like weeks and weeks. Um, and certainly making a making a video I haven't done for months. Onwards and upwards, or down downwards. The easy walk back now as it's downhill. I'll still be breathing heavy by the end of it though. So yeah, right. And I think we'll call it there. It's been lovely evening out, apart from the midges. Great to have Alan's company. What did you think of it, since it's your first time here, Alan? Very, very picturesque, really lovely. Lovely colours to finish off on the longest day of the year. So, thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you haven't already, please do subscribe, leave the thumbs up, ring the bell, all that stuff, um, and the random one. Join me on Discord if you want, if you're into such things. Uh, follow me on all the other socials that there are out there. There'll be links everywhere. You'll, you'll find them, not a problem. Um, follow me on OpenSea for, for buying NFTs as well. There's a new thing. Uh, right, that will do for this evening on the longest day of the year, June the 21st. 20, I was going to say 2012 there. 2021. Uh, over and out. Until the next one. Keep it hard. See ya. Got the joys of the downhill walk now. Ah, shouldn't take a lot. Set myself away, we'll be able to roll them. <laughs> well, some of us definitely will, mate. <laughs>